While many 90 Day Fiancé relationships are in a bad spot following the 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after, tell all part 1. Many viewers are calling out the way Natalie Mordetsova was treated by her fellow cast members. Fans have expressed that Julia Trubkina and Yara Zaya were unnecessarily harsh in their attack on Natalie. Some viewers find that Yara and Julia were both mean-spirited and hypocritical when it came to their comments about Natalie following her split from Mike Youngquist. Though almost all of the couples from Happily Ever After Season 6 are in a bad place, Mike and Natalie were the first to announce their split. The duo arrived separately and revealed that though they are legally still married, they have been apart for months. Both Mike and Natalie have been called out by viewers for their bad behavior. Leading to their inevitable split, many fans believed that Natalie tried hard to salvage their relationship. While others considered her to be rightfully exposed during the tell-all, many were appalled by the way multiple cast members ganged up on Natalie, especially following her frank statements about her impacted mental health. While Yara and Julia were only two of the multiple cast members who ganged up on Natalie, many felt it was especially hypocritical for Yara and Julia to lash out at her. One viewer blasted the two women in the Reddit thread r, 90 Day Fiance Uncensored for using Natalie's struggles to try to bolster their own images. Julia and Yara are using Natalie to make themselves look better. New, S, Flash, y'all aren't that great and many men would have tried to send y'all packing by now, the user wrote. Julia and Yara are both currently in fractured relationships that might not be able to recover. Julia's jealousy and intense dislike of her in-laws is causing a rift in her marriage to Brandon Gibbs, while Yara's husband Jovi Dufresne doesn't want to abandon his hard partying ways to be a responsible father. Julia earned considerable flack for telling Natalie to be sent back to Ukraine after Mike made it clear he would be pursuing a legal divorce. Since Julia's catchphrase is I go Russia when she is angry with Brandon, many viewers felt she had no room to talk. Additionally, others thought the women were degrading Natalie by acting like she was an item that could be sent back. They have always struck me as two shallow party animals. Yara was so mean to say that Julia shouldn't be jealous of any woman looking at Brandon. What was the point in saying something like that? Another commenter asked. Though both Yara and Julia have their supporters, they have also become polarizing for their mean-spirited ways. Overall, many fans felt that regardless of their feelings towards chaotic Natalie, it was wrong of so many people to gang up on her. However, some viewers are also finding hypocrisy in Natalie's behavior. Though the Ukrainian woman stated that the 90 Day Fiancé franchise was damaging her mental health, she is moving on to air her continued quest for love on 90 Day, The Single Life. Therefore, some viewers lost sympathy for Natalie since she is continuing with her chaotic and dramatic journey in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise.